Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing some exciting news pertaining to a couple of long-awaited updates on the Harry Potter TV show. We had an update in the third week of January, and another update just a few days ago, so let's hope they keep the updates coming. For those unaware, back in April, Warner Bros. Discovery made the announcement that a Harry Potter TV series is in the works. Each season will be authentic to the original books and bring Harry Potter and his incredible adventures to new audiences around the world, while the original, classic, and beloved films will remain at the core of the franchise and available to watch globally. We are delighted to give audiences the opportunity to discover Hogwarts in a whole new way, says HBO CEO Casey Bloys in a statement. Harry Potter is a cultural phenomenon, and it is clear there is such an enduring love and thirst for the wizarding world. And via the first update released January 21st, it would appear that the upcoming Harry Potter TV series is one step closer to becoming a reality, as a group of selected writers have finally started pitching their ideas for the show. According to Deadline, a handful of writers were commissioned to create pictures based on the beloved books, and those pictures were presented for the first time in Los Angeles a few weeks ago. Although the exact number of writers involved and the full list of names remains undisclosed, some of the writers initially connected to the project include Michael Leslie, writer of The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Kathleen Jordan, creator of Teenage Bounty Hunters, Martha Hillier from The Last Kingdom, and Tom Moran from The Devil's Hour. The top choices were said to have then been given the opportunity to pitch again in the UK. But since that initial announcement, we've learned that the Harry Potter television series has become even closer to selecting its new creative leader, with the shortlist being narrowed down to just three names, of which we happen to know one. This news broke at the beginning of the month. The first named finalist is Francesca Gardner, a talented writer known for her work on the hit show Succession. It's unclear which of the previously mentioned writers are still involved, but we do know that Francesca, alongside two other writers, is currently in contention to guide Harry and his friends on their small screen journey. But who is Francesca Gardner? Harry Potter is so important to me, and taking on the role of recreating it is no small task. So it would be criminal for me not to do a little bit of research and see if the story is in capable hands. Here's what I've been able to find. Francesca is a British screenwriter who has recently found the spotlight through her success in a variety of popular new shows. According to the Elevate podcast, as a screenwriting graduate, she was named the UK's hottest new director from the National Film and Television School. Most notably, Gardner was a consulting producer on seasons 3 and 4 of HBO's highly successful show, Succession. And before working on the Jesse Armstrong creation, she was an executive producer of HBO and BBC Fantasy co-production, His Dark Materials, and was a co-executive producer of AMC's Killing Eve. She has also written on shows including Stars, The Rook, and Amazon's The Man in the High Castle. And despite her relatively recent entry into the world of mainstream film and television, Gardner has already established herself as a talented writer. Her exceptional work on the critically acclaimed shows Succession and Killing Eve, earning her two Emmy wins and one Emmy nomination. It would seem that her impressive credentials speak to her ability to bring compelling storytelling to the screen. But is she a fan of Harry Potter, and is she suited to it? I think it takes certain criteria to pull off a successful reintroduction of Harry Potter, so here are some of my possible hot takes. First of all, I think that being British provides a unique perspective and understanding of the cultural nuances and settings portrayed in the Harry Potter universe. Next, I think that you have to actually be a Harry Potter fan. Only a fan would have a deep enough appreciation and knowledge of the characters, storylines, and themes to accurately capture the essence and magic of the story. Listening to Francesca on the Elevate podcast, she encouragingly made a Harry Potter reference within the first five minutes, and this was a year ago. I always had the really unappealing desire to be top of the class, and I feel very strongly aligned with the Hermione archetype, which has its benefits and also has its huge downfalls. And I would allocate bonus points to those who grew up with the Harry Potter books and films and are a similar age to the original Harry Potter cast, as I feel that this further solidifies your familiarity and emotional connection with the books and films, enabling you to authentically depict the world and its characters. 
Having a closer connection to the Harry Potter books as a writer or contributor to a prospective TV series can help prevent any injustices towards the original work. It ensures that the essence and integrity of the books are retained, avoiding any drastic deviations or completely different directions that might undermine the integrity of the beloved franchise. If Francesca is indeed a frontrunner, then I think that we might actually be in luck here. She's British, she's about the right age for someone who would have grown up with the Harry Potter books, films, and she's a demonstrated Harry Potter fan, as per her mentioning of Hermione in casual conversation. As I mentioned earlier, there are still two other writers in consideration for the series, but reports do seem to suggest that there may also be an opportunity for more than one of these writers to be involved. A decision on the matter is expected to be made soon, so for now, we'll just have to wait and see. With the updates on potential writers out of the way, I thought I'd also take this opportunity to do a bit of housekeeping and address some other pieces of info related to the series. Here's what we know. Producers. The Harry Potter series will be produced by Bronte Film and TV, the production company chaired by Rowling's agent, Neil Blair, and Warner Bros. Television. J.K. Rowling is expected to serve as the show's executive producer alongside Bronte's CEO, Ruth Kenley Letts. We also know that Harry Potter producer David Heyman will be involved in some capacity, though to what extent is still unclear. Heyman is best known as the primary producer of all eight installments of the Harry Potter film series, and I think it'd be a shame for him not to be involved. Release date. The TV series, announced early 2023, is expected to premiere in 2025-26, coinciding with Warner Bros. Discovery's rebranding of its streaming services as Max. With the company's endeavor to revamp its offerings, it's evident that they are keen on enchanting viewers with Harry Potter's magic. In recent years, there has been a demonstrated demand for more Harry Potter content. It started with the recent and overwhelming success of the Cursed Child play, and was only continued by the success of the newly released Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy, which went on to sell over 22 million units as the best-selling game of 2023. Discovery CEO David Zaslav emphasized the untapped potential of the Harry Potter franchise at a recent Goldman Sachs conference, acknowledging its significant impact on the company's performance over the past two decades, alongside properties like Lord of the Rings and DC. One thing is for sure, once we do have the show on the way, we will almost unquestionably be given season after season, as time is of the essence when dealing with aging kids. We wouldn't want a 17-year-old in third year. That's all I've got for you for now, but I'll be sure to keep you all updated as I hear more. Are you excited for the show? Let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.